I just thought I'd blow on that harp a little bit here today. <laughs> what do I know? I don't know nothing. Do you know anything? I'm just totally confused. I was born in the late 40s. You know, one of them war babies. Anyway, the 50s were pretty good. That's when, uh, yeah, the Dulles brothers tried to take over the world, so to speak. Yeah, we were in Korea, too. Let's see. The 60s, flashy cars, looked like rocket ships. Oh, yeah. Media science fiction. Yeah. It was some kind of disaster was going to happen then. There was mass hysteria. Let's see then, what was it in the 70s? The ice was going to take over the world. In the 80s, it was acid rain. In the 90s, it was ozone before the hole mostly healed. And then in the 2000s, it was the ice was going to melt and we were going to flood. We're all going to be underwater eventually, that's what they said. <laughs> oh, I lived too long. Now I see through the whole game. Yeah. Oh, here's a supposition so-called science fiction the winners of wars they write the history but if the earth is four and a half billion years old with uh, all the deserts and the Sahara and different kinds of things and mountains and rainforests turning into deserts and back again and things live and things die and things pop up glaciers form yeah, they even form rock mountains. Yeah, rock candy mountains. One-celled creatures eating the chemical soup. <laughs> yeah, and then we have plants, dinosaurs, millions of volcanoes still covering the ocean, supposedly, spouting out CO2. I think they're more powerful than humans. <laughs> Let's see, we had the first Homo sapiens, uh, Cro-Magnums, six million years ago, and then uh, human beings, 200,000 years ago. Uh, who with a rational mind would think that something that happened 2,000 years ago could uh, alter things that have happened so long ago? Not that I really believe it was uh, four and a half billion years. <laughs> I don't have a great deal of uh, faith in science fiction. But then again, evolution, we are evolving, calm trails, and they play the harp and control the weather.